The best thing to come out of this has definitely been this news, courtesy of the Man United official webpage again, which I'm so ecstatic about. I'm over the moon about this. this is legitimately the best news I could have ever heard, ever, ever heard this year. This is a great way to round up the year. Manchester United announces process to explore strategic alternatives to enhance the club's growth, aka the Glazers want to sell. I'm over the moon. These tyrannical, useless, inept owners, one of the worst owners in football history that I've kind of dragged my glorious club into the doldrums, right? Dragged us into the doldrums, lowered the bar so it's in hell and turned the club into a toxic mess, mess that it is. They are finally leaving and they're finally exploring options to sell. Hallelujah. Because for me, I feel like all the subordination, even when you think about Ronaldo and other players, stuff are going off the field, I feel like it's a consequence of the culture that the Glazers have built in that club. The fact that no one gets called out, the fact that there is no real due process, no, the, the, the fact that there are, there are no structures in place that will ensure players have, um, they know what, this, what the rules are, they know where they stand, and if they go against this, they go against that, then you get the boot. The fact that it's all player-based and situational-based and all that kind of stuff is really annoying. The fact that managers are hired without no real rhyme or reason. You go one way philosophy, then you can change another way with the philosophy. It's all really annoying and I hate it. And I feel like the Glazers have essentially built that culture over the last two years. And essentially what they proved as owners is that if they don't have a maverick, a genius manager in charge, that we can't be successful. Sir Alex Ferguson, the great Sir Alex Ferguson, stepped away from the club and we haven't been the same ever since. That's clear to see that the processes and the structures of the club weren't in place to allow people to come in, even managers who maybe couldn't lay Sir Alex Ferguson's boots and have some modicum of success. They couldn't do it because the club wasn't set up to do so. So the fact that these CUNTSs are leaving, I'm over the moon, over the moon. The article says as follows, Manchester United PLC, one of the most successful historic clubs in the world, announces today that the company's board of directors, the board, is commencing a process to explore strategic alternatives for the club. The process is designed to enhance the club's future growth with the ultimate goal of positioning the club to capitalise on opportunities both on the pitch and commercially. As part of this process, the board will consider strategic alternatives, including new investment into the club, a sale or other transactions involving the company, which will include assessment of several initiatives to strengthen the club, including stadium infrastructure redevelopment, expansion of the club's commercial opportunities on a global scale, each in the context of enhancing the long-term success of the club's men's, women's and academy teams and bringing benefits for fans and other stakeholders. Executive co-chairman and directors Avram Glant and Joe Graham Avram, Grant, Avram, Avram Glazer sorry, and Joe Glazer said the strength of Man United rests on the passion and loyalty of the global community of, <laughs> look what they're talking about uh, the global community of 1.1 billion fans and followers. As we seek to continue building on the club's history of success the board has authorised a thorough uh, evaluation of the strategic alternatives. We will ev evaluate all options to ensure that we best serve the fans and the main night maximizes the significant growth opportunities available to the club today and to the future. Throughout this process, we will remain fully focused on serving the best interests of, uh, of our fans, shareholders, and various stakeholders. The Rain Group is acting as the company's exclusive financial advisor and left them and Watkins LLP legal counsel to the company. Rothschild and Co. is acting as the exclusive financial advisor for the Glazer shareholders there can be no assurances that the reviewing uh, that review being undertaken will result in any transaction involving the company May United does not intend to make further announcements regarding the review unless MB until the board approved a specific transaction and other course of action requiring a formal announcement I'm over the moon there is this other statement that came out allegedly that said something along the lines of the Glazers are only looking for US buyers which I think is a nonsense because you know they're going to have our people People come in and obviously put their bids in. I've, I've heard talk already of a Middle Eastern conglomerate coming in and saying something. So I'm happy. I don't care who owns us. I don't think there are any, you know, billionaires out there that are morally in a place to say that they don't earn their money in some sort of immoral, you know, way that maybe would go against some of our worldviews. So I guess it is what it is. But I just feel like if we get new owners in who, you know, first 
port of call is us winning trophies because that's something I never really understood about the Glazers. They came in and didn't necessarily care about winning the trophies or putting into a process, uh, putting us putting a structure in place that would allow us to win trophies until maybe the last few years. I don't feel like they did it for the majority of the time at the club. And the weird thing is, is that the more successful a club is on the pitch, the more commercially viable you are and the more able you are to exhaust and to flip and rinse and pull as many dividends as you want out of the club if you're more successful on the pitch. And they didn't want to do that. And now things are kind of drying up and you're seeing now that other clubs are pulling away. The financial, you know, the financial backing of clubs like Man City and, and, and flipping Newcastle is only going to get higher Arsenal on the brink potentially of winning the league you've got Chelsea who are also always going to be in and amongst it if ever there was a time to sell up and allow Man United to have the chance to basically reclaim their position now it will be the best time and obviously considering what's going on with the other clubs in the league this is also a great time to invest if you want to get in from the start so I feel like all things being equal this is the best news that could have happened legitimately the best news that could have happened and I'm over the moon about it legitimately over 